What's going on, everybody? I am going to be playing this Red White Angels deck. Guys, guys, listen. Here's the sideboard. Bam. So right now we have four Reckless Rage, which is fantastic with Feather. Uh, this is basically one mana Lava Coil. It doesn't exile, but it's still very good. It deals four damage to a creature and two damage to a creature you don't control. Um, you can't make fun of how I sound. I'll go away once I take... You'll go away once you take the medication? Are you a hallucination? Oh, this is this is much worse. Uh, <laughs> okay, so then we have four Bishop of Wings and four Tomic. This is eight, eight white white rares, white white rare two drops. Uh, then we have four Resplendent Angel, four Feather, and two Prison Realms, and then three of each of these Legendary Ladies. This deck looks sweet. This is just Mono Mythic Angels dot deck. Except for the rare angels. Um, you know, then you have two Demystify, two Gods Willing, four Honor Guards in the sideboard, for obvious reasons. One Fry. Four Deafening Clarion, which gets around most of your guys. This, 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 and this. And this. So the only cards that really hits are Resplendent, Angel, and uh, Tomic. And then we have two Ixalan's Bindings. Bishop of Wings... And Resplendent Angel is still not a combo. Dang it! I'm just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna try this bad boy out because I'm okay with it. Yeah, there's definitely a good number of mythics and rares in this deck, right? So mythics we have three, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten mythics, and how many rares do we have? Four, eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, twenty-three rares. Not even including the sideboard, which puts you up to uh, 31. Yeah, it's pretty good. Let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. And I'm also going to be playing in the Alias V tournament that is on Saturday, Saturday morning. So uh, I'm looking for a deck to play there. If I were going from literally nothing in my collection to buying enough packs to get wild cards with a standard deck, how much? That's a good question. I think the ant. Oh god, that's actually. Um. I was gonna say around three hundred, but I think it's only. I think it's around three hundred if you for the for a new. I don't know actually, because it would be really hard to pick up the packs you need. Right, like I wouldn't know which packs to buy, and if I'm buying fewer of packs, like if I'm buying like. If I need some more of the spark cards and some. Ixalan cards and some Dominaria cards. Like, do I buy 10 of each pack? Because if I do that, the odds of me getting the specific cards I want are almost zero. <sighs> this hand's fine, I think. I think nothing in the deck needs more than one red. So I think if we hit one red land, we're fine. We also have Bishop and Prison Realm to keep things going. Oh, they went to five cards? They're basically dead. Oh, look, that, there's the feather. Wow, if we can hit a red source next turn. Specifically not a temple of... Ambition? What's the red temple? What's the red-white temple? I find loudly yelling the card name you want to open increases the odds of opening it. Oh, yes! Oh, my God. How did we get this good at magic, guys? You got me. You probably start by playing awful decks and grind it out or shell. Yeah, I, I think you. I think Arena almost forces you to start out with terrible decks. Okay, so. Um, target for Genome Control and target you. We're targeting this guy because I'd rather not have the Feather die if they have Shock. And it doesn't matter. That'll do, pig. Yikes. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, I think Honor Guard's actually probably fine here. I think I'd rather have it than the other one. Because it doesn't... It stops the... Um, it stops, like, Registrar Alpha. It stops the Marauding Raptor. It's probably fine for now. I don't like... I mean, I don't know what, what specific dinosaur list they're looking at. Defending, Defending Clarion doesn't seem great. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. God, this raptor. Enters, tap. I think we're just gonna play uh, Lava Coil here and hit this raptor. Not hitting that guy. It's there, I love you more. There's all got heartache by the numbers. A do 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 do. That's a raptor hatchling, and it's. Oh, two raptor hatchlings, huh? Well, I'll be. I just have no, no, no desire to block any of these creatures. I'll take four here. I don't want to give you a land. I don't want to give you a 3-3, three, three, so. Ooh. Now I'll block. You got it. I think, I think we're good here. I think this game has ended. Put you to one. <laughs> 31 to one? I feel like we're ahead here. This deck seems good. Like, <laughs> this chat is just mono also. Also, questing is pretty good. Playing a few games daily will get you there within a month. Also, try building a deck without Dominator Exelon cards since they'll rotate. Also, if we build a top tier deck, every set has a competitive metagame challenge when it releases. Also, also, I'm pretty dumb. What? Who does Takali host? The little dino? What does that mean? I thought they upped the weekly wins to 15. Wasn't it first 15 games? Why does it say out of 12? I don't understand. Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. Three Temple of Triumphs. Jesus. You know what? I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I like to live dangerously. Oh, ho, 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 boy. Come on, man. Come on. Well, I guess we figured out what the temple was. This art's fantastic. Nope, don't need you. Each day I love you more, buddy, 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 cause I'm... So we can play Resplendent Angel here, but we take two. I think I'd just rather... Or we can play... Fe I think it's actually... I think... Oh, God, we're missing so much... We're missing so much bishop equity here if we don't. I'll be back, y'all. Gotta grind my dailies. <laughs> Go grind those dailies, buddy. Go grind them. I will keep that because we have a feather. Not like they're good. Actually, they probably have no creatures, huh? Well, this is, this is just sad. Joke's on you. I'm grinding dailies and watching the stream. 
Wow. You don't even. You're not messing around here. Oh, I revealed my Nexus of Fate. I'm gonna shuffle it into my library and play this. Play this Tabio. I wish this. I wish we didn't keep this now. I'm having buyer's remorse. Man, they're really struggling with that. Like, what do I name here? Wilderness Reclamation. Well, that card sucks. Nope. <laughs> I have become too involved with my work. Okay. Sounds good. What are we playing here? Lyra? Probably Aurelia. Yeah, having a second having had a second monitor for like God, years. I don't I actually don't even think I could actually use a computer with a single monitor. It's just not efficient. I mean, I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a, see, this is what I mean, like, it's, if you're just casting Nexus to Fate without Wilderness Reclamation on it, it's, like, the most fair shit you can do, but then once you play this nonsense, it's like, oh, well, now it's less fair, but, well, that's magic for you. It's a deck where I'm just like, okay, well, I definitely feel like I'm at the point where I can't win now. I'll name Nexus of Fate. Ready? It's going to be right here. There it is. Wow, you hit two. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Just fantastic. Okay, so let's take out this guy and this guy. We'll bring in Demystify, uh, Ixalan's Binding, and that's probably it. That's all we have here, I guess. Deals damaged. Oh, Planeswalkers, right? Oh, yes. All right, we'll bring in one Fry. I guess God's Willing? It doesn't. None of these cards do anything. Deals with creatures, creatures, creatures. Protection? I guess Honor Guard is a creature? Oh, God. Oh, God. The sideboard clearly not uh, geared towards... Uh, Nexus of Fate. I guess it's just honor... I don't know, man. I guess this is just a creature that we can cast. Enter the battlefield. I wouldn't have any of those battlefield triggers. Uh, 
keep. Nope, don't do that. Man, I'm a big LTT fan. Can I draw a four drop? Let me get that Aurelia. Yeah, I would imagine LTT is Linus Tech Tips. He's a Canadian treasure. We are playing Red White Angels now, Robert, otherwise known as Big Bert. Oh, I have another Wilderness Reclamation because I'm a nerd. <laughs> well, I guess he'll take three here and nothing else. Oh, no, he'll take five, I guess. Okay. Fascinating. Well... Hey, big sorry, boss. Yeah, just to be clear, I'm definitely on the side of banning Wilderness Reclamation. It's not because it's oppressive. It's not because the deck is overperforming. It's not because the deck is unbeatable. It's just an unfun card. So this is on three and this is on two. You can go one, two, three, activate one, two, three. You can just wipe my board here. That sounds like it could be fun. We're gonna have a good time. I'm really glad they made a land that just destroys as many creatures as you'd like. And they gave it to the deck that literally can put as many lands into play. Oh, that was great. They did it the wrong way. I was really hoping they would do that so that we get the one one. But uh, yeah, it's not great, but it's something. Mm -hmm. Let's not make the mistake of playing that here. Wow. Sure. Well, I mean, without Search for Ascanta, I'm pretty okay with the amount of mana they're generating here.
All right, give me one turn. Just one turn with no hits. Just have no answer to this resplendent angel. Come on. All right, that's not it. Come on. Oh, we're going. We're making it happen. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do they have another callus dismissal? No. Sure. Alright. One turn. Come on. Let's do it. Come on. Oh, we're in the end step now, boys. All right. Okay. Next, we can just keep playing creatures here. Oh my god. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't do anything right now. Are you dead? Come on, you can't have... Your, your last card can't be another rune snare for which you get to flip this stupid thing. Come on. Come on. Not great, Bob. So now they get to flip this and they get like three looks. So they get to. That's unfucking believable. That's number three. Three in a row. They just played three in a row. And they hit a search press contest, so now they get to just do whatever they want. That's pretty cool. <sighs> oh man. Oh yep, don't care anymore. Cool game. I also was Prison Realm was O-Ring. Like, I think it's actually not great when it's not O-Ring. That was fun. I had a good time. Hope you guys did too. Triple Fog into drawing Search for Azkanta when you need it. Into drawing third reclama uh, Wilderness Reclamation when they already had two on board and one in the graveyard. So it was literally their fourth, fourth drawn Wilderness Reclamation. But he did not have fun. Okay. Okay. Put that on the bottom. Hey, buddy, don't you knock angels. Ugh. Oh, we can go double Bishop of Wings into Resplendent Angel and automatically make a... Uh... Yeah, I think we're going to do that. I was like, I had to check and make sure this wasn't legendary. I was like, wait, did we make a mistake? I was never given a name. Oh, this is actually fantastic. Let's go to game two, guys. Oh, man. Eight more life? Jesus. <laughs> got it. You got it, Living Twister. That, that does not have reach. Awkwardly enough. Uh, we can't pump this, so we might as well just play Bishop of Wings, I guess. Play a land. 
Might as well attack with everything, right? They'll block here, they'll still take a thousand. Uh, choose you, choose you, choose you. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We didn't gain any life, unfortunately, but that's life. Oh god, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, sure, that's fine. Springfield, Springfield, it's a hell of a town. I'll gain 12. I'll gain a totally reasonable amount of life. What does it do? Until the end of turn, Hercule has plus 2, plus 2. It gains trample of its red and vigilance of its white. So it's going to gain vigilance. I don't want to trade here. You stay home. 6, 7, 8. They can go block, block, and take six, seven. Actually, they have to, well. So if we attack with this, and they block here, they're gonna take six, seven, eight. They go to two, and then we get three one ones. Eh, I wanna keep you alive. And we get another angel, so. And we get three more, three spirits and an angel. And we gain an action. <laughs> What is even happening, man? Oh lord, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm about to bust. Jesus. It's okay, casual 60 life. Death and Clarion seems like it could be okay. We'll take Tomic out. I don't know what the Tomic is even doing in this deck, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know. Fry seems great. Death and Clarion seems good. Honor Guard seems pretty good, actually. Hmm. I mean, all we saw was 1 3, 2 5, and. Uh, 03, 0325, and 1 1. That tower from Kaladesh. Remember that Kaladesh tower, guys? Uh, it was a reservoir, not a tower. It was called Aetherflux Reservoir. Unbelievable. Why are you like this? I'll keep this. We're on the draw. We can play this. Any land lets us play this. Any red, we can play these. Well, there was Dynavolt Tower, but that's not what we're talking about. That's an energy-based card that has nothing to do with the strategy that we're employing ourselves. They're like, Lava Coil that thing immediately. Oh, good. We don't get to play Magic again. Yay. Just cast an Emergency Powers on my main phase to, you know, draw seven and put a seven drop in play. I drew six lands on Paradise Druid. <laughs> oh, good times. Always good times. Hey, look at that. We get to come back a little bit, maybe. Kind of. Springfield, Springfield. So a water tower isn't a tower, but a water... Re well, the card is called Aetherflux Reservoir. It's literally a reservoir. It's not called Water Tower. It's not Aetherflux Tower. It's not Tower Reservoir. Look, man, I'm just calling it like I see it, okay? How are you doing? Asking for a friend. I don't answer these kind of questions unless I know the friend. Okay? Okay, buddy? God, I really wish I could do more than one thing this turn. I mean, we could Reckless Rage, but that's pretty much it. If this land came into play untapped, it'd be fantastic, because I could put this Angel on the board. I mean, I definitely have to get rid of one of these, right?
Um, actually, we'll keep that. That seems great. Elk Tears is asking for me, Frank. I was too embarrassed to ask myself. Oh, Lord. This is where they go Omnath and then they kill our feather. You ready? Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Oh, look, I predicted the future. This deck seems like a blast. I don't think it's too powerful. I think it's just right. Oh. oh. I was literally going to kill that guy. I guess we can still fry it. Keep. All right. Can we draw three drop? We have so many good three drops. All right, I accept that. Uh, sweet tutu. I don't even think I kill this. I'm I'm more concerned with bigger fish. I have bigger fish to fry, as we as you say. Uh, how you say a bigger fish to fry? This guy. Hey, this guy. Oh, Vivian Reed, kill Aurelia. I'm good. That can't help me now. Not dead yet. Oh, you're dead all right. Oh, you're dead all right. So what can we do? Only one thing, right? So we are going to kill you, but we just have to figure out if we're reckless raging or lava coiling. Probably lava coiling. Not bad. Hey, enter step. Seems good. Reckless Rage, this guy. And then they go Gross Spiral again. I'll just play a Lyra. I feel like that's hard to deal with for them. Maybe. No attacks. I have a Gross Spiral. Oh, I never didn't have my Gross Spiral. Oh, 
bottom for sure. Got him. Oh, uh, Omnath has not felt degenerate to me, no. It feels strong. Like, it's good. I'm not like, whoa, this card is too good, though. Like, it's, it's fine. What up, Rector Bree? I mean, we get to gain a million life from Lyra next turn. That's pretty good. We're going to do that instead. Give me that reckless charge. They have no lands in hand, so that's interesting. Mono spells. I am Tamio. It is an honor to meet you. Wow, that's really respectful. It's an honor to meet you. As opposed to Vivian, who's like. You're a stupid idiot. I can't believe you hit me. Is the best way to destroy things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. Well. Discard a sacrifice permanence. It's an emblem. Our time together is finished. Bottom. Well, we get to go up to forty four life I'm next turn. That's back. something. What is even happening right now? Sure. <sighs> Did they mistap? Did they leave a root bound cragged up instead of a... I guess they left all their forests untapped. Yep, here comes Hydroid Crassus for seven. Like you do. Yep, never don't have that. said seven. I meant eight. Totally just draw four cards. Well, I guess no attacks. Oh, boy. Thank you. 
See, I feel better about the blue-green deck than I do about this deck for some reason. I don't dislike this deck. I just feel like uh, this card's great, but it doesn't do much when it's on the board. Yeah, like, we're just not beating this. Like, come on, dude. Is there another card that deals with Planeswalkers? Like, other than Prison Realm? Prison Realm? I almost, I feel, almost feel like you want a third Prison Realm in the deck over, like, one Lava Coil. Because you already have four Reckless Rage. And, like, this card is actually just fine. Like, it doesn't get rid of enchantments, but, I mean, now there's Lava Coil, right? And I feel like you have way too many ways to deal with creatures in the sideboard. Um, I'd almost rather take out one of the Deafening Clarions, because you have a ton of things to deal with that. For another Demystify. How many cards with Destroy and Enchantment are there? What does this guy do? Search a one non impermanent. Guy seems good. No. No. I don't think there's anything I don't think there's any white red cards. Yeah, I think this is fine. Uh there will be yeah, there'll be one more, I think, after this. But I'm testing for uh, the event that's on Saturday, so I'm trying to figure out what we'll be playing. Um, you know what? Fine. Like, I almost feel like you want four Demystify in this deck. Like, just because there's so many good targets for it right now. Wilderness Reclamation's a huge target. Even Oath of Cal even Oath of Kaya is uh, a good target in Lang. The Omni Tears deck is not even not even close. Is this a 2 3? Definitely. 2 3 is decent here and blocks the uh, 2 3s. Unless they go third, second Legion Lieutenant, then, you know, then they're just in great. They're in great shape. Second Legion's landing. It's not the same. <clears throat> Ooh, now we're talking. Now we are. Now we are talking. I'm tempted to just get rid of the Legion Lieutenant, to be quite honest. Um, yeah, I kind of like that, actually. They have a lot of utility creatures. Next time we can play Bishop and Lava Coil or just Shalai. Uh, not going to attack here. Also, I'm probably going to drop Bishop before I drop the other Angels, just because four life in this matchup is very relevant, and it doesn't matter because we just won the game. This is definitely a Deafening Clarion matchup for sure. As good as this guy just was... I'd rather have Deafening Clarion. I don't think Demystify is super necessary. Also, this guy dies to a Deafening Clarion, which is why we're taking him out. Probably just another Ixalan's Binding. Gets rid of things like Soren and stuff. There's not too many triggers with Entrance Battlefield. Uh, Fry does kill Legion. Yeah, actually, maybe Fry's better. I can't say Fry without thinking of a... Uh, yeah, the uh, the NVMe card I actually use right the NVMe hard drive I use right now is actually was actually gifted to me by Thanos, because Thanos is one of the coolest dudes on the internet, and in real life too. So, shout out to Thanos. I have had zero issues with storage and uh, and speed since since this happened. Yeah, we'll keep this. 
blush, please, like you don't even know. Like you don't know. Uh, no, don't need that. I do not need a six land in my angel deck. My angel deck. Got him. Ooh, that's fascinating. Finally slept in a little this morning. It was almost 5.30 when I woke up. 5.30 a.m.? Man. What a maniac. Well, that guy's good. That's something right there, dude. Reckless, reckless boy. He was a reckless boy. He said he let him So we can either play Clarion or Feather. Feather lets us set up Reckless Rage next turn. We can go Clarion. Yeah, we'll do this. This guy's going to take a bite out of our ass. If you know what I mean. God, Soren is so good. I just want to play this Vampire deck, to be honest with you. I feel really good about it. Especially the ones... Like, Soren is just such great card advantage if you have, like... Champion of Dusk. Like, even if you have one of the vampires, it's just Soren comes down, draws you two, and still gets to survive. Like, uh, vomit. Now they're attacking for like seven damage and they're gaining five. Oh, God. Oh, they're just gonna. Really? I guess that's fine. I mean, I'd be at five instead. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, now they plus this guy and it's not lethal, right? So... Oh, we can't play Lyra, though. So I guess we just have to definitely clear around here. I'll just choose both modes. Alright, so we go to one, but then we play Lyra. And then we block, and then they make it indestructible, and then they kill Lyra. No, this is good. Or they could just kill this. They got Mortify in hand. They're just going to be like, Mortify your Lyra, kill you. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> I'm in danger. A hundred per terabyte? Is that right? Because my hard drive is two terabytes. And I don't remember it being... I know they cost more than $200. Thanos can also attest to that, I imagine. Uh, Yeah, I'll keep this. Yeah, that's a Toyota. Tastes like burning. I choo choo choose you, and it's a picture of a train. Temple of Triumph. Actually, I will keep that. I'm not going to get greedy with lands here. Me fail English? That's impossible. 
Ralph Wiggum, you are the you are the the hero we need. Oh, that guy's gonna get fried. Is this an instant? Oh my god, it is an instant. This card is unbeatable. I was like, dang it. I was thinking lava coil, so I'm like, is this a sorcery? See, this is the good stuff I need to be knowing for uh, for future events. I'd rather have Feather die than Resplendent Angel. So we're gonna play Feather here. Is Mike wearing glasses? He looks different today. Yeah, he's got some glasses on. He's got his invisibility glasses on. I think this game is just way over. Even with that, it's still we're still doing very well here. Oh, we can actually a Resplendent Angel kill this guy. That seems fantastic because they can't do anything about it right now. Yeah, that seems real good. Can I get a woot woot? That's fine. Oh, maybe I just kill that guy. No, we're probably gonna show off. Actually, we're gonna Aurelia here. Maybe? Yeah, we're gonna Aurelia. Like, they don't have profitable attacks and they're in top deck, so. Well, that's pretty good. I mean, we're gonna double block Sanctum Seeker for sure. Triggers? That seemed very good for us. Yep, that seemed all right. Um, I feel like we're doing well with these decks. Oh, see now it says 14 out of 15. That's interesting. I guess it does it does always say one higher than your current one, which is kind of weird. Why not just say like X out of 15 all the time because it's weekly wins. That doesn't make sense to me. What do I know? How many packs do I have now? Two? All right. Another regular? That's two regulars in one day. All right. I'm still trying to I'm trying to unclog this ear, guys. Yeah, this seems fine. I wish Tomek was an angel instead he's just a human advisor. Headphones also can help hold heat in, melt the ear if you melt the earwax, that just seems That just seems like a weird thing to Yeah, I'm going to try some uh, straight-up hydrogen peroxide when I'm done with streaming tonight. It's a little more... Uh, it's a little harder on the ear. It's more of a harsh feeling than the than the medicated ones, which is like it's got aloe and like... Like a weird thing to what? Talk on your public stream about... The, yeah, well, like... The, no, just the phrase melt the earwax is a weird one to hear. Hey, this is the first Esper deck we've played against today, so that's pretty good. Joke's on you, I got more Shalai's.
Well, that was rude. Here goes nothing. Time for Plan B. Time for Plan B. Yeah, never, never fails. Boy, this deck is just a blast to play against. I've done the hero thing before. What does that mean? Well, that didn't pan out. I've got time. There's so much energy to expend on Tefri, like it's unbelievable. Only time will tell. Thank you. I mean, how much do I commit to this board right now is the question. Tanos with the gifted sub. Thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'll pay too. And I just hope we don't have a second Kaya's Wrath, I guess. I mean, you would have played it that turn because you plus Tefri, so. You might just be, uh... Nine damage, they're only at 20. Seems good. We're just dodging Kaya's Wrath here. That's all we want to do. Thank you. Oh, Thomas will let our gifted subs. Only 178 gifted subs. Totally reasonable. Sure. Oh, Lord. I only got one card in hand. What's the worst that could happen? That's pretty good. All at your face, and then we'll readjust to you. Sure. Totally fine because Teferi actually doesn't do anything on the board, so. Don't worry, I got this. Yep, that one does though. This isn't a fight you can win. Well, they have no cards in hand, so we can literally just kill this Teferi and then kill the next Teferi as well. That didn't go according to plan. This guy doesn't do anything next turn, so we're just going to hold off on it. Will you? They have no cards in hand still? Oh, but they do have a search for Azkant on board? Yeah, that's pretty good. If only we had a way to deal with that. If only Prison Realm, again, was... Uh... Now what? God, search for Azkant is so good, and I'm not going to... I'm not going to be sad when it's gone. So they just get to loot this away, draw non, draw not that, activate this, find a Kai's Wrath, wipe our board. Ready? Yeah. Oh my fucking god. Uh, Thomas, I would definitely be up for trying it. Um, I would probably play it not when I'm testing for this event, though. Because I just want to try decks that will... Uh, that are, like, just decks that have records already. You just let me know if you're up for round two. I don't even know if I want this. I really don't even think I care about it. Like, I'll be honest. It's a 3-4. It's not gonna... I mean, the problem is there's not much better. Like, we went, we went kind of Lyra... Resplendent Angel. There's no Planeswalkers in this deck, which is really interesting. Oh, good. Yep. I will hurry.
I recorded online in Pastebin. <laughs> I guess it, I guess it is recorded. Oh look, look the one card that would deal with this is what we have to get rid of. That's great. And we draw a oh, land. Okay, well, always a pleasure, Esper. Don't care about these. Don't care about these. Would much rather have binding. Oh, Fry is very, very good. It kills Planeswalkers, too. Come on. I mean, this just kills Search for Escanta and Oath of Kai, which I think are totally fine. And Honor Guard does shut down. Actually, I'll just bring up God's Willing, probably. I feel like we're very poorly positioned against this deck. Uh, sure. I mean, this deck isn't super aggressive, right? Like, you need a 3-drop. Three 3-drop three is, like, the most aggressive thing you can have. You have a 2-3 and a 1-4 and a on the... In, for your 2-drops, so it's not, like, super aggressive, but... I mean, that's as far as... Yep, you can go away. So, I mean, if we could hit a 3-drop to play on turn 3... Oh, wow. Just Mono Temples of Triumph, I guess. Yep, you can go. Nope, that is a four drop. Alright, well, I guess we'll just Temple of Triumph here again. Wow, we just put three lands on the bottom. So if we didn't if we didn't scry those three lands, we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight lands. <laughs> Nine lands. Sure. I mean, it's so hard. The, this minigame is hard because, like, they if you commit more than two creatures to the board, they just Kaya's Wrath you. And if you don't, they have infinite time to do whatever they want. It's really... Yep. It's fucking exactly. Like, it's so frustrating, dude. And now we're just stuck with a handful of, like, Prison Realms when they don't have Planeswalkers. And the Planeswalkers already get value before you even Prison Realms. So, like, draw a card of Teferi. So now it's automatically a two-for-one. Wow. I've scribed five lands to the bottom, I think. Three, four, no, I guess four. That's pretty insane. Yep, another one more gone. That's f five lands I've scried to the bottom. Uh, I guess we'll just play this now because reasons. I mean, they have two cards in hand, three cards in hand, but we also, I mean, they're also at 13, so they have 14,000 turns. Oh, another one. If only our Ixalan's binding stuck. Look at that. Who knew? Nope, you're not going to do anything. So you'll probably... We'll just probably hit a land now instead. That coming. You actually should have seen that coming because it was on the top of our deck. So it makes total sense. Are you just going to win the game with this Shalai? I mean, the answer is no, because there's like 40 cards in their deck that put them back in this game. That's one of them. You show remorse. I'll show you. That's more like it. 
That's more like it. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Lord. Fascinating. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is hardly my worst defeat. Well, Lyra's good. Maybe if their last card is nothing, that's cool. Well, I'm not going to play this guy because I don't need to. And if they wrath the board, it's actually terrible for us. So. Yeah, now they play Narsim. Find Akaya's wrath. Ready? Nope, just a Teferi, which they cannot cast thanks to Ixalan's binding. Wow, that's actually all right. This guy's legendary, so I might as well put one out. It means if they play a creature or bounce one of them, then we have it out. I mean, they're going to draw Kaya's Wrath. Yep, never don't have that. Jesus, they couldn't play that any faster. Yep. So. Okay. Three cards. One of them has to be an answer. Hey, look, they found it. To the surprise of literal no one. Hey, a land. Everybody having a good time. Not lethal, unfortunately. I wish some of these creatures had haste. That would be great. Fascinating. Do you just have two Oath of Kai's in hand? <laughs> oh, God. Just incredible. Just incredible. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And uh, let's not forget the five we've scribed to the bottom, so... Well, they kept a card on top, so I'm sure we're probably dead. Here comes five mana Tefri. Or do they not keep a card? No, maybe, yeah, that looks like they did. Well, remember when they were at two? Now it's a four turn clock instead of a one turn clock. <laughs> Banefire. Banefire actually. Oh, man, we're doing good with the lands here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. One, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fantastic. Three lands in a row. Can you imagine if we drew three spells in a row? We'd actually have spells in hand. I mean, unless we're just both having mono lands in hand. This is the one turn we need, though. We have to have a turn where we can. Wow. I was not expecting that. <sighs> well, that's a thing, isn't it? So, Nightfell Predator is hard to deal with. But. I guess that's whatever. Yeah, none of these cards seem very good. God's Willing actually seems better than I might be giving it credit for. <laughs> Tempted to... How many lands are in this deck? 24? 25? Yeah, we can just take out one land. Still one. You go down to 24 lands? Well, suck on this, buddy. Yeah, sure. 
Uh, let's get rid of a planes. Done. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that. I think that's good. We have a great curve here, and any one land really puts us. Uh... Oh, we found the one land to roll them all, and in the darkness bind them. Well, they're probably just going to wipe the board. Oh, they didn't wipe the... Oh, that's sad. This is why we didn't want to play Resplendent Angel, because it saves. It saves that. Uh, shall I here? Kaya's Wrath. <laughs> Come on, we know you have it. Just play it. Fascinating. Sure. Kaya's Wrath! Nice though. Okay, I don't know what's going on right now. Oh, tech break. I'm kind of trying to get rid of the Narset, to be honest with you. I guess we can do that by attacking it, huh? Going face, going over there, okay. don't have an answer I know my responsibility here we go so exhausting I've got it Interesting. I'm actually going to keep this. I don't want them to draw Basilica Bell Haunt and just slam that dude down. Oh, okay. Dovin's Veto. I never don't have Dovin's Veto in my deck. Still stern five hours after. I don't know whether to remind you to take snack breaks or be thankful for the endless entertainment. Um, well, I always take breaks. I'm tempted to block here, but not really. No blocks. Uh, reason being that if they do want to Kaya's Wrath here, which they probably will, because of course you will, we get two 1 1s, which is good. You know, 
Oh wow, that's all right. I'm really surprised at how well we're doing here, even even despite how frustrating their deck is. We'll just play the land because if they do a Basilica Bell Haunt now, I just don't want to discard anything to it. Yep, that's a thing. All right. right on no, I am not making this up as I go. Yeah, demystify, come on, one time. Well, that's not it. Oh, left a card on top, huh? That's gonna go well. Yep. Keep up right on schedule. Right on schedule. Well, they don't have mana to cast that, which is no. Nope. Look at that, they do. Oh, they're just not gonna play it though. Very interesting. I guess they have a D spark. No, they're probably going to activate as Kanta. I don't know. I'm guessing D spark and Thought Scour are the cards in hand. Wow, we just get to kill Teferi? This is hard for my worst. I mean, they have Thought Scour. Thought Erasure, so there's no point in keeping Potomac in hand. So now we're just playing around the cards they don't have, which are Kaya's Wrath, which they can just get. Mm, yep, there it is. Let's skip sorry I'm late. Thank you. Hail dog, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome back. No time for a break. Like, they don't even have a fucking win condition. Like, they just have to sit here and play all these things, and they just bore you until you don't want to play anymore. Oh, hey, uh, can you just concede for me? Because I just really don't want to be, uh... I don't want to... I don't want to have to win the game. I just... I want you to lose the game instead. Why can't I respond to that? Do I not have six? I have five? Cool. We like you do. Quickly. Convenient. Shut up and take my money. One cheer up, we love you, Buck, plus a little something for yourself. <laughs> oh, that's good times. You guys remember when they were at like two life? Was that this game? Who fucking knows? Hold that thought. Hey, look, the win a win con. They win in five turns now. Here we go. I get that we meme hate on decks. This just seems awful and unfun to play with and against. Like, I I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't feel like control decks should have access to this many, this much card advantage. I don't think it's fun. 
Uh, I, I don't think it's... I think it's slightly oppressive. I think it makes... It forces games to unnaturally get to a point where uh, if you don't win by a certain turn, you are guaranteed to lose a game. And I just, I just don't find that fun. Like, I, I feel like I got to do nothing for the past 12 turns. And that's why I think Esper Control and, and the, the Nexus of Fate decks are my least... The least fun games. The least fun decks, I feel like, in the format. Because you just get to these points in the games where you're just like, well, I didn't beat you by turn six, so I literally don't get to beat you now. Like, I just can't do it. Unless you literally draw horrendously. I have to think, I have to hope that the odds are in, in my favor in the fact that you will draw poorly. Or else I'm just not going to win this game. Shut up and take my money. Here is a nickel for every time you just had to draw something other than a land and then didn't. <laughs> I feel like I, yeah, I feel like that's probably about the right amount of nickels. I think that's like, what, 87 nickels? That's a good amount of nickels. Brian, thank you, buddy. You are all... <laughs> just crying out loud. Oh, Lord. You ain't kidding. Ooh. Get in there. Get in there, Bishop of Wings. So it's going to be like that, huh? Oh yeah, it's going to be like that. Oh, you know it. Fuck, come on, dude. I've seen more and more decks playing this card. So it's a 4-5 when it enters the battlefield. Oh, it's X, so it's I guess it's however many you want. Yeah, that guy's... F uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So... They didn't play this last turn, right? Did they? This was in play, right? I don't know what's going on. This guy doesn't have reach, right? Vigilance, trample, and reach. Oh, because they gave it the uh, the old special. Well, this doesn't kill it, unfortunately. Nothing kills it. Not like this is going to do anything. Oh, this guy's got reach. I guess no attacks here. is kind? See, and that's the funny thing. Like, you guys are like, well, Teferi, Big Teferi is a win con. It's not, though. It's a win con in the same way they hope you concede, right? Like, Big Teferi just makes it more compelling to concede. Oh, every time I draw a card, I'll exile one of your permanents. Okay, so I have no lands. But you still haven't won the game, right? Like, you're just hoping I concede before I deck myself. In which case, it's like, well... That's not a win con. That's just a... That's like, uh, hope you... Hope you concede, Con. And it's so obnoxious. It's like, all right, well, in a perfect world, you'd be able to kill me uh, out of something other than boredom. But, you know, here we are. They have two cards. What are the odds one's a kill? Uh, yeah, fuck me. <laughs> it's like, what, what are the odds one's a counterspell? Oh, it's 7,000%. So that's cool. Yeah, that's, that's good. Well, attacking was fun up until this guy had reach every turn, but, you know.
I once thought I bought tickets to Comic Con, but I actually bought tickets to Hope You Concede Con, and it wasn't that fun. Those don't sound like. Uh, those don't sound like the the same at all. I think we're... Yeah, I'm not enjoying this deck as much as the previous deck. And I think it's because I have less control, right? With the blue-green list that we played previously, um, I was able to uh, have a, have more control over what my opponents did or didn't resolve, right? Like, if I had Sinister Sabotage up, I could deal with this guy. I could deal with this guy. But unfortunately, this deck feels like it doesn't have a lot of ways to deal with cards like this. It has two Prison Realms for Planeswalkers, and otherwise you just have to hope they don't have... Like, if they have a 5-6 Hydra with Reach... Uh, you're basically just dead. Like you can't kill it with lava coil. You can't kill it. Can't kill the reckless spite. So you just kind of have to hope you draw one of these two prison realms, or else you're kind of you're kind of done. What do you see? Paradise Druid, Voracious Hydra, which is nice with Honor Guard, but that's the only thing really that's good with Honor Guard as far as that we saw. Demystify, no. God's Willing could be fine. I mean, you could play Deafening Clarion, take out the Tomic. Tomic? Tomic? Potomic? Yeah, I mean, we saw Mystic for Fry, but I don't, I don't think we care about that. Oh, Honor Guard for. Yeah, I, th I think that's actually pretty good. Frilled Mystic. I, I, I agree with that. Oh, I agree with that. It does die to uh, Deafening Clarion, so we can just stick with two. Tomic and Ral Zarek are lovers. Is that true? That's interesting. I'll keep this. This is a lot of life gain, man. It's probably not strategically sound, but it's a lot of life. And you know what? That's important. Even when I'm playing MTG Arena, I find myself uh, instinctively putting my finger over the 6 button to pass the turn. But uh, that's not how it works on Arena, so... There you go. There's today's fun fact. Ah, oh, the old gain 12 from any angel you play. A classic. Of course, you missed the fourth land drop, so the odds of us playing this Lyra anytime soon. Uh, it's not good. Shalai would be nice, too, but again, you know. Joke's on them if they got a Frilled Mystic. I don't even have any spells to play, buddy. Taken two here. <laughs> Basically dead. I got Bishop of Wings for days, dude. Land destruction? Land destruction? Um, I kind of just want to get rid of this, actually. Nope. I don't need another 4-drop. Thanks, though. Preach. Preach. Is there something that combos with all this life gain? Uh, I mean, if we draw a resplendent angel, it's pretty good. Gain 12, make an angel. Send me an angel right now. Take another two? God, you're basically dead. Oh, you're gonna kill one of my... Wait, no, you don't even get to do that. Oh, all right, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, double the number of counters. Okay. 
So. Well, this time you don't have natural reach, so. Gimpy, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome. Welcome back. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> My god, dude, seriously? So, you don't have reach. Sounds good. Well, isn't that special? Uh, no. No. All right, let's cancel attack. I'll just attack with you. Okay, these are not attacking, right? Okay. Woo! Gotta make sure. No, definitely Claire and should win us the game next turn. We can kill two of their blockers. And that lifelink, though. Uh, you can't cast the same spell twice in one turn because it gives it to you back at the end. Uh, at the beginning of the next end step. Well, you could cast it twice in one turn, but um, thank you. Well, that's pretty good. Urk, thanks so much for that. Have you seen the Sultai Yarrick decks with Explore Package? They're pretty. No, I have not. But I would definitely be willing to try that next, if that's a real thing. That sounds like a lot of value. That'll do. All right. Uh, so, yeah, you can definitely cast the spell. At the end of your turn, it'll come back. You can cast it again at the end of your turn. Um, but then you're not going to get it back till the end of the next turn. So. <sighs> All right. All right. Yeah, Urk, if you can send me a link to uh, the Sultai deck, that'd be pretty sweet. Preferably one that has a record behind it. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Yeah, like a record. Like something that went 5-0 or something that did well in an event. Something with a record. I've lost so much already. I will starting over is the only way. Uh, I'm not looking for something that seems awesome when I'm trying to do well in this event on Saturday. I don't want to play something untested, and I don't want to have to test everything from scratch. So, not something that seems awesome, but will fall flat on its face. Yes, that's what I'm trying to avoid. Ideally, I do not want to commit to waking up at 9 and, like, playing in this event, ex you know, committing multiple hours to a thing that has prizes and then losing spectacularly because I just wanted to play some crazy, some wacky brew. Um... me and you strike nature no nah, i'm good let's see if we can get that frilled mystic out of your hand oh paradise druid sure maybe they don't have a frilled mystic Of 
They totally have frilled mystic, right? Uh, the only feather interactions, as far as I know, are um, Reckless Spite. This guy is... You can actually play something for five? Yeah, no thanks. I don't want you to go Voracious Hydra for three, double the counters, block. Even double Paradise Druid blocking here seems pretty bad for us. Tear it down. Tear it all down. You have to have it. Yep. Hmm. Fascinating. Um... I still don't feel like attacking with you because it's just bad. But, I mean, they're probably going to play a 5-drop here. If they had Hydra, I don't know why they wouldn't... They would not They would have played it in response. Um, uh, they would have played it before the mana that they floated left, so... Yeah, it's pretty clear they do not have Frilled Mystic here. Honor Guard. Oh, you just top deck a Frilled Mystic? That's something right there, my dude. I actually feel like we're doing quite well here. Better than I would have expected. Erk, did you link the deck? Can you link the deck, too? Does this have the deck in this this Twitter post? It looks like it's just you do... Oh, there it is. It is here. Um, Can you... Do you have a link that is posted somewhere where I don't have to, like... Uh... Oh, there's only one Yarok in here. Dang, that's sad. It's still an elemental, though. It's still pretty sweet. Either way, this deck was this deck wasn't that bad. I mean, I don't know. I, I wish it had more reach, <laughs> but it has flyers instead. You guys know what I'm saying, though. Like a lot of times, like you're at the mercy of your draws. You don't have a way to to, to filter things, like you know, search for Ezkanto or multiple Teferis or you know, Narsets, things like that nature. Ways to look at like the top four cards and pick an answer out of them. So it's really hard when you when you play a deck like this because just like well if I draw two lava coils against the Esper deck I'm kind of just boned I guess, but um, either way the deck did pretty well I think we were like X two with it so I think that's pretty fine and uh, be sure to check out the description if you're interested definitely check out CoolStuffInc.com if you uh, if you pick up any cards from this set or any other set you can use promo code frank5 to get five percent off and i have a new article that went up this week it's uh, about golos and legacy so if you're interested in that definitely check it out and please leave a comment on the article itself it definitely helps me out it looks good for it good, looks good because it's 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 engagement and that's what you're looking for so uh definitely help me out go leave a comment on that article and uh slam those like and subscribe buttons thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time really appreciate it